award is presented in memory of Bill Cayley and his four children, Kirby, Kent, Chris Ann, and Kevin, who were tragically killed in an auto accident while traveling to the fair in 1965. And I actually, uh, we had a phone call at our office yesterday, and it was from Bill Cayley's sister, who lives north of Markle, and she is 88, and uh, she was just calling, she knew the fair was happening, and asked whether the award was still going. So we, we kind of chatted, and I had met her before, but I never really talked to her. So she was kind of relaying some things about, you know, the accident, and, uh, and all everything that happened so it will be uh, next year it will be 50 years since that uh, accident happened and for those who don't know uh, that is the intersection of 116 and 303 and as you know there's memorials there now from recent accidents but I'm sure we could probably say that that's probably uh, the most dangerous or the most deadly uh, intersection in the county through the years uh, not only did uh, the Cayley family lose um, five people that night, but two years prior, uh, Bill Cayley lost his parents and his aunt and uncle at the same intersection uh, with, a, with an accident. So four people two years earlier, and then uh, five people uh, with the Cayley family. So uh, the accident happened uh, after the beef show here at our fair. The family went home and changed clothes and they were coming back for some awards. I think it was the like Wednesday night awards that they used to do. And that's when the accident happened. So uh, I can remember uh, talking to uh, Larry McAfee because uh, he helped lead some of the animals through the auction because they sold the animals. So it was kind of unique. Applications for this award are uh, available to anybody in 4-H who is 14 years of age or older. Each applicant uh, must have three recommendations from adults. Selection is done by a committee of five individuals appointed by the 4-H Association. And these names, uh, all the names on the applications are taken off so that the committee does not know who is in contention. <coughs> Awards uh, tonight will include a uh, $500 cash scholarship to each of the 4-H members, and their names will, be go, will go on the Cayley Memorial plaque. A personalized plaque is also presented to the 4-H member, and one plaque is sponsored by the Matt Day family, and another plaque is sponsored by the Francis Fisher family uh, in honor of Jerry Fisher, who was a Cayley Memorial Award winner. This is the uh, 46th year for the award. So let's get started and meet uh, our award winners. Uh, Kent Ulmer, our 4-H Association president, along with uh, Kathy New, are going to help present this award. Our first Cayley Award winner is a nine-year member active in eight projects. She's a member of, the, of her school's National Honor Society and team captain of her soccer team. She serves as a Sunday school teacher, a coach of upward basketball, and active in her church youth group. Please join me in congratulating our first award winner, Alexandria Huffman. Andrea is the daughter of Matt and Monica Huffman of Union Township. Our next Cayley Memorial Award winner is a 10-year member who has been active in six different projects. He has served as president of his 4-H club and assisted in obtaining a Youth as Resources grant. He has coached uh, uh, basketball for uh, kindergarten through second helped with basketball camps, volunteered for Caring for Kids Christmas Families, and assisted with the Feeding Tomorrow's Future Today food packs for hungry kids. He's also served as president of his uh, National Honor Society and as a member and officer of the student council at his school. Please congratulate our second Cayley Award winner, Brent Bales.
Brent is the son of Steve and Jody Bales of Rock Creek Township. 